Hey everybody, Rob John Webb here, and I want to kind of talk about where I'm going with the YouTube channel that I've got here at Waxadisc, where it's going, what I want to do with it now into the next year or two, or you know, for the foreseeable future. I've been making videos now for 10 years, and in those 10 years, I've done countless courses, helped thousands of people, had many people succeed from help me helping them, and it's been great. But the kind of format that I do is kind of, I'm kind of done with it now, I'm done with that you know, strict how-to sort of process, you know, how to make a baseline, how to do this, how to sound like this producer. Um, so I'm kind of at a point where I just want to break that mold now when I want to dive into different areas um, because I'm, I am feel like I'm going stale and stagnant just doing the same thing over and over. So I've kind of pulled the YouTube memberships, um, you know, from next week that's going. I'm going to get, get rid of that because... Um, committing to making how-to videos for a specific thing every week is, is getting is, is hard. It's hard after you've been doing it for so long. Um, you know, it kind of gets tiresome. So I'm going to remove that so that gives me time to do other things. Um, and then doing specific tutorials like I show you, you know, how to sound like this, how to sound like that. They will still come out in some form, um, but it won't be strictly, you know, how to sound like A, B, and C. So I'm kind of, you know, ready to do something new. So for example, I want to get back into producing music regularly for myself because I've sacrificed so much of that through helping others, which is not a, you know, a bad thing. I'm just saying that I have given up um, a lot of my time to helping others, which I will continue to do. I do that privately all the time and it's great and I love it and I enjoy it. Um, however, the point is when I'm doing that and then I'm doing, you know, uh, YouTube memberships on the side and all that kind of thing I find very little time to do my own music so what I'm probably going to do is make my videos of how I make my tracks properly um, make them more interactive you know where the inspiration comes from talk about it rather than just go this is how I made this blah 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 talk about inspiration play a track that inspired me to make that track why did I want to make it and then kind of dive into Ableton get the screen up of Ableton and then show you the processes and certain things of the track you know that kind of thing I'm going to do more triple vinyl challenges because I did one the other week and that was really good I enjoyed that that was a good creative process and that was kind of me going back to my teenage years where I used to sample bits of every record and put them together and come up with an absolute chaotic noise but it was just brilliant um so if you watch the triple vinyl challenge video i did on the channel you'll see what i what i mean by that um i want to do more dj mix videos things like that um you know and, and get that going and do more live jams and stuff and just kind of develop redevelop my own musical um, aspirations i suppose a lot more so still going to be tutorial based in a sense but it's going to be a bit more of a journey me putting my music out and and showing you guys how to do things So, what does that have to do with you, in a sense? What this video has to do with you, in a sense, is me at the moment where I am, creatively, at the crossroads that I'm at, I'm ready to dive into something new. I've been staying in the same position for quite a while now, I'm ready to do something new. So, what does that mean about you guys? Well, what that means is, where are you at with your music right now? You know, are you ready to make the next step? You need to kind of question yourself. So, for example, we're all at different levels in music, okay? So when you start making music, however long ago that was, um, you aspire to be, I don't know, uh, masters at work, for example, if you're into deep, soulful house. Yet you're at level one, masters at work are at level 50, you know? So when a few years down the line, you're at level four, or level five, master at work are still up there, you know, or whoever it is you admire. Um, so... What prevents you from getting higher and higher? It's probably the process of you're staying in the loop of doing one thing until you've mastered that thing, one thing. So, for example, you might have been um, practicing all the while on every track you do, your arrangement skills. Okay, so now you've probably got 20, 30 tracks all arranged, not mixed, but all arranged. You're happy with the sound, you're happy with them, but they're not mixed. So that maybe is the next step for you, whoever you may be that is at that stage to start learning deeply into the mixing process of things. Or you could be just stuck in the loop still. You could have 50 tracks on your hard drive, little tiny 16 bar, 32 bar loops, and you've, you've developed them, but you just don't know how to arrange them and get them out into a fully fledged track. Maybe that's time 
for you to do that. And I did a video once on how to get out the 16 bar loop, so have a look for it on the Waxless channel. It's very, very creative um, process on how to do that, very quick and easy. So check that out. Anyway, um, or are you at a stage where your music is done, you've done it, you've mastered them, but you're afraid to release something. You daren't do it. And that itself can be very paralyzing, very crippling. So are you at that stage where you've made these tracks, you've got a whole ton of music, but you've never played them to your mates or your pals or only one person's heard it and they're biased and they're going, oh yeah, it's brilliant. Um, or you've not even uploaded it under a fake name on SoundCloud just to see what people's reaction is that you don't know from the other side of the world maybe are you at that level point is i'm at a level now myself personally where i'm ready to shake off um what i've been doing and dive into new oceans you know and is it and are you guys at that point as well with your music production um you know so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make more videos about you know um, my journey and my process now rather than me breaking it down and showing you um how to do things um, explicitly it's going to be more about what I do and hopefully that will give you some inspiration to take bits from what I do and you know develop your own sound you know that that's what would be good to come out of it so yeah that's it question yourself right now where are you at with your music where are you wanting to go what have you got to do to do that next leap you know it's a scary leap but you know as the saying goes when it's the most scariest moment to jump that's when you jump isn't it um, and I'm kind of at that as well you know i, I want to do something new with my youtube channel i don't know how it's going to work out um but it's still going to be you know music production based but it's going to be a little bit more interactive and a little bit more of an insight into me as a producer artist uh, you know as well um so yeah question where you're at in your music what do you want to do where do you want to go um what have you got to learn now to get to your next levels you know and start to work on that rather than staying in the loop of just banging track out to track after track after track after track and that's what you're doing, you're forever making something new, you need to get it out and do something else. Whether that's sending stuff to labels, whether that's, you know, trying to get DJs to play it, whatever, you know, whatever it is you want to do. So, I look forward to seeing you guys on my next journey with the Wax of This channel. Hopefully you'll still be able to take loads of production tips from it and DJ tips and inspiration and all kinds of musical, you know, jargon from it. So, uh, I look forward to seeing you soon and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you guys and I hope to see you soon.